In today's Node video editing tutorial, I'm going to share with you how to edit a teleportation effect using Node Video Editor. So here's how the original video clip looks like. So quickly, let's get started. Color correction has already been applied to video clip. So now the first thing you want to do is to add time remap to video clip. I will drag the time remap panel to the top so that you can see all editing work properly. I'm sure you are familiar with Node Video Time Remap, and if your answer is no, check on this video description and you will find a link where I made a separate tutorial on how Node Video Time Remap really works. So let's continue as we gradually find where we will be adding time remap. So first, let's add a keyframe from where we want the teleportation effect to start. Next, gradually find the time you want to jump to. In this video, I will be jumping to time 5-2. In other to do that, I will add another keyframe closer to the first keyframe and apply time 5-2. But first, drag the zoom bar in other to have more frame to work with. And after that, add the time you want to jump to. And here I will type time 5-2. And just like that, it's done. So next, I will also follow the same process to where I want to add the teleportation effect. Now here's a playback of the work done. So if you take note, the last frame of the video clip plays very slow, and in other to fix it, drag the last keyframe point close. and next change the video time duration to where the last keyframe points is. And in this video clip, the keyframe point is at time 726. To change the video time duration, I simply click on the clock icon over here and change the time to time 726, and finally click on the apply button. And just like that, problem solved. So next, I go ahead and add Adjustment Layer to Timeline. On the Adjustment Layer, the first thing you want to do is to add Turbulent Distortion. Now let's mask the turbulent effect and focus it on the targeted object. I selected the Pen tool in other to do that properly. Now let's go ahead and mask the objects, just like this. Next, blend the mask by increasing the blur function. After that, switch back to the main turbulent settings and change the turbulent type to polar and radial. Now let's go back to trim the adjustment layer to where we add the teleportation effect. In other to get the same results I did, kindly gradually follow this few steps
so it's really all about moving the turbulent effects with the shape mask and also increasing and reducing the turbulent effect after each time jump or teleportation. So here's a playback on the work done so far. Finally, let's add one more adjustment layer. As we add shake effect, I will start by reducing the intensity of the shake effect and also the frequency, which is the speed of the shake effect. And next, the phase, and also turn on, motion blur and the tiling. Next, mask and adjust the shake effect on the selected target. Split and set adjustment layer to match teleportation effect, just like this. To avoid any confusion, I will rename the shake effect adjustment layer. And now keyframe each shake effect in other to move with the teleportation effect, just like this. Next, drag the turbulent adjustments layer backwards. And now let's finally watch all the work done so far. So thank you for watching. I hope you find this editing tutorial helpful. And if you are a beginner and want to learn more about Node Video VFX Editor, subscribe to our Patreon page. There we will offer you a full tutorial course on how Node Video Editor really works. Check on our Patreon link on the description below and other to get started.